Guys, today we're gonna play another episode of the letter. It's a horror visual novel game. I have done one or two episodes of it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And if you enjoy the video, leave a like and comment if you want more. That seems to be the end of it. Both Rose and I breathe a sheesh of relief. Disaster ever. I also don't miss the thumbs up she gives me for doing a good job and I can't help but swell with pride. Still, I have already prepared myself to deal with the number of Luxorborn office and check. Even if she didn't ask for it, I'll be very frustrated frustrated if for some reason something has already ha been decided without my and or Rose's concern. That's a whole new level of unfair. We've been working hard on this. Moment later, Miss Miss Kaluk returns looking, f looking a little frustrated but with an apology clear in her face. I feel a little sorry for having to go through all the all this trouble having her there seems to have been a little misunderstanding of my client if you'll allow it i'd like to stay and wait for them here so in last episode she said this house was already theirs but we didn't sold it so fuck you i was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today i figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive i might as well meet him here yeah, certainly here. you can stay at the parlor in the meantime ma'am I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella, I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? Rose takes a glass at her wristwatch before tossing me a set of keys. And hurry! We still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Yay, I'm your safe. The two of them disappear behind the parlor's door. Their departure brings with it is stillness to keep me company, neither welcoming nor comforting. Alone like this, it's impossible to impossible not to think of what really happened. I wish the memory isn't as elusive as it normally is. Then again, Rose already said she didn't receive any call from me. Wait, it just paranoia? A temporary lapse after having had all heard all those tales about this place? Probably. I want to think of it as such, better to think of it as such, so I can work in peace. Except a small part of my mind begs to defer, and if I am going to be completely honest with myself, I want nothing more than to leave this place as soon as possible. I don't think that, I don't know what's in the house and I don't want to know. The key rose has just handed me dig into my palm is jagged edges creating shallow ridges on my skin for how hard i'm clenching it it's a reminder of what i still need to do and why i've taken this job in the first place hugging my blazer closer to my body i exit the house to get what rose has asked of me just a few more hours isabella sell the house get the money and get the fuck off it Oh shit. October 21, February, and Margaret Mansion. A flock of people have already gathered in the mansion from the yard. By the time we officially open the door, I'm not sure whether I should feel baffled or under underdressed standing in their presence. Men and women of all these status all dressed to the nines of fancy suits and lovely dresses of very varying colors on both the medium-sized crowd. Their necks, arms, and fingers are adorned with silver and gold, glitting in the French noon sun. Some even have ridiculous fancy feathered hats on their heads. I really hope there <coughs> aren't any magpies living nearby, like in the story those birds will have a field in this. They're murmuring among themselves looking at the it's just fecal faggot appraisingly with some arguing about whose mansion has the superior architecture. But most of it stops as Rose calls their, for their attention. They don't look 
to please uh, being ordered around. <laughs> but what can they do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Wearing this, a few wondered to me. There are mostly, <clears throat> there are mostly old ladies who seem doubted at the idea of climbing all those stairs. Miss McCulloch also joins our group, but what actually catches my eyes is that elegant dress pair she appear, she approach, elegantly dresses, dressed pair. She it's so nice to finally meet you. When Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town, I knew I had to get you. Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, Mom. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. Oh, Which you know is? each other? Not at all, Mom. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Oh, yes, I think I... Uh, they must be clients she was talking about. I might have seen their faces somewhere before, some magazine or the television. I can't quite remember. After you go inside that house, it will be magazine or history. But the, but then again, most of the guests have likely ended up on the news one way or another. I won't be surprised if these two already have. For people who are popular though, so they aren't dressed as loudly as the others. And in their simply city, the couple stands out. The woman in particular is standing enough to turn the heads of most people in my group, especially the men with wandering eyes. The guy standing beside her doesn't seem to mind. Though. And if I'm going to be a bit bolder with my assumption, I'd say he's asking me the attention. Both of them, in fact, not like that. I think they are brother and sister if it wasn't for their public display of affection. The, ma the matching rings of on their fingers just cement the fact that they are indeed a couple. Whatever, couple or not, what's important is that is we get this deal closed before the current owners can even think of cancelling the listen listing. I just hope one of the people in my room my or Rose group is brave and uh, brave and generous enough to buy this mansion. And so with paper in hands I led the way. Then they aren't whispering among themselves or going off and off over one thing or another they ask questions. From how the restoration process went to the history of the place I answered them all and all that happy happily to talk about the art pieces and architecture mostly, architecture mostly, however I'm careful not to mention anything about the urban legends, not a good material for soul stock, even if the entire population of those urban knows about it. Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. I don't know, for some reason I don't like paintings or expensive anything. Even the glass thing, colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. <laughs> Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengard. Charlotte. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. By the time I have stopped talking, her attention is already elsewhere. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The rest of their conversation get lost <coughs> in the 
flattering of her companions. I don't want to make any assumption yet, but their share of interest is enough to give me some semblance of hope. Symbols of hope. Oh, please, 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 let these guys by the one, be the one. Eventually, our group reaches the kitchen. Much like the rest of the house, a great deal of effort has been put in retraining the room's classical appearance. The open heart at the end of the room in particular looks amazing like the ones I have only seen in fairy tale books. And mad props to the cleaning crew. Seriously, after over overhearing hundreds of their complaints about the soot and star and tar staining the bricks and how much of a pain in the in the earth cleaning this will be they still managed to pull this off or make it look presentable at least the highlight of the room however is what's underneath this hatch here oh don't say anything yet an underground wine cellar or an underground ghost cellar <laughs> This is the first time the guy in the grey speaks up me. Mr. Look right. My memory supplies from the forms they signed earlier. His sudden attentive attentiveness catches me off guard. Since the start of the tour, only his wife has shown any form of genuine, genuine interest in, this, in the place. But this time, something lights up in his eyes at the mention of the undercraft. What's so interesting about the basement? I really don't understand rich people sometimes. Right now, he just gives me the impression of a child who has seen what he absolutely wants for Christmas. I've always found, found it cute whenever I see children like that way. My younger sibling, especially, on a grown man, is always funny. Yes, sir! It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly! And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. And this isn't big enough? If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. There's a contemplative expression on Mr. Wright's face. I don't know what his name is, actually. I think I'm spelling it wrong. Like, I'm spelling everything wrong. But he... <coughs> wrong. But he doesn't say anything further. His wife, however, seems really pleased that he has started to show interest. If only a bit. I smile to myself. I may not completely understand how this people mind works, but I sure as hell know how to spot a buyer with sincere interest. Skull. I can't wait to tell her. Tell Rose. The rest of the tour goes by without a hike. After more than half an hour, we'll we are able to cover almost every room in the ground floor and are heading to the parlor. Funny, the first time BRC had a survey the property, I kept complaining to Rose how big it is. Now I can't even bring myself to care no matter how much my feet hurts. Maybe this is just excitement over a possible sale. Maybe. When we reach the parlor, Harvin, an odd feeling washed over me. The odd feeling, do you mean this pretty voice? It starts off a small goose pen on my skin. The feeling of being washed in tension, whispering in my ear and shadow dancing, lurking in the corner of my vision. Dark souls that are gone when I turn to look. I chills. Settled down on my spine, making me feel sick, and I started to break out in cold sweat. I can't do this. I need to sit down for a moment. The old ladies in the group have been requesting for a break in anyway. If I Excuse me, everyone. We we will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions. Feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. 
I let them sit while I retreat to a quiet corner to recover. It's not what you think. Don't think about it. It's not what you think. I probably just got back as cold. Don't think about it. I'm left alone for a good while. Uh, the same words coming out of my lips in a silent way until a hand taps my shoulder. Hello, are you there? Y yes, ma'am. Oh, look at you! Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker! Anyway, Isabel, right? Yes. Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just mm -hmm. Hana. Call me Hana. I just Hana wanted to be. ask, how soon are we able to move in? My game, my brain completely stopped. My, this sick feeling plugging me is suddenly gone, replaced by utter bewilderment. Is this a joke? She looks at me, expecting as I struggle to come up with an answer. Wait, ma'am, I... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... She stop, stops me from speaking any further and puts her hand on my shoulder. For a moment, with her tight smile, she looks as if she has tasted a particular sore lemon. Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me! Money is not a problem. And just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. I'm still not feeling well, but really, what's wrong with pets? More importantly, why is she talking about moving in already? Well, I'm more of a dog person. But you see, this is going to be a gift, my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon. And it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. What would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Then the ones when her nails did into my shoulder. Don't help, help but send an impolite look at Miss Kelly, who only gives me an apologetic smile as well. Give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Rose is not taking the papers from my hands and she pulled through the match. Oh, man, Rose is going to be so angry at me for waiting her to talk. Wonderful! And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, Mom. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too, and... What's this? A look of confusion and disgust appears on, the, on her face, turning to her husband. He merely shrugs in reply. That's, uh, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. Darling... Buttercup, art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with. Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to all... I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this... form. Oh, uh, sweetie. It's my turn to be puzzled. What do they mean? Rose and I double-checked everything. Are, are the papers I handed not enough? I want to ask what I did wrong. I don't want to 
mess this up. But with the way ma'am Hannah be leading the conversation, I'm afraid that it, that's exactly what will happen if I do interrupt her. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I, I can't wait to see. see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. A smile in a smile is back on her face when she turns to me and hands me the strange piece of paper. I would still put it away if I were you though. Otherwise people might get the wrong impression. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying. Is the letter. I don't hear the rest of what she says after that. I can only stare down the paper at the letter in my hands. Sight because in my grip and my breath grows labored. Death quickly fills my mind. Isabella? You're looking pale. I didn't even notice when Rose Group joined us in the parlor. I want nothing more than to say, no, I'm not alright. I want to leave this place because I remember everything as clear as a day. This letter and that woman in that trick, it's real. The letter? I I'm sorry, I didn't know. Careless, I've been so careless. How do I even tell them that without looking like I'm not mad? Should I even tell them? Don't show the letter. Show the letter to Rose. No, no. I... Rose... I... The words are struck in my throat. I want to tell her. I really do. But is she really going to believe me? She already dismissed as dismissed me earlier. It's a con conclusion, she said. It's not. There really is something in this house. In the attic. In the letter. In that letter, it's going to go after us. Please believe me. Dear me. Is Isabel alright? Ma'am Hanavi's voice breaks through the gaze begin beginning to cloud my mind. Rose is looking down on me, worry etches on her fake features. I didn't even notice when she removed the wrinkled paper from my hands and pushed me down to sit on a nearby chair. From the edge of my vision, I can also make out Miss, Miss uh, MC colleague asking a passing food to serve for a glass of water. Through it all, Mr. Wright stands in the sidelines. Although curious, he appears more inclined to watch the scene than help. They are all, they are all as likely as to believe me as Rose does. To everyone, whatever, in this house is just a hoax, a cautionary tale for children. Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance? She offered me a drink, but I pushed it away. I need to get out of here before I cause an even bigger commotion. Clear my head, take a breath of fresh anything to make. And of this thing, no one is going to believe me anyways. No, I I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. I'm gonna save the game here, cause it's going horror. Who's saving this plush? Are you okay? Brying my head, I muttered apology gathering, gathering my stuff and make a quick exit. It doesn't matter if this place is haunted or not, I have close travel and roles can be quite unforgiving of behavior like this. I'm almost at the door, she catches up to Isabella, me. wait! The oppression must have been quite obvious on my face because her expression instantly shifts to something gentle. I soften as fond smile spreading on her lips. Hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on, you didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And look. She had it completely trailing off before shifting her gaze down to my to her hands a small gesture to stall. Her fingers are flying into a piece of folded paper. It's the stupid letter again. My hands stiffen when she gives to me, but I take it nevertheless more as an automatic response than a desire to have it back. I'll throw it away if I can. But I have that I have this nagging feeling that one way or another it will find its way back to me regardless of what I do. Rose, this is you have to let them know about I know you want us to get this sale so badly, and we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, 
Who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win, but I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something, I don't know, this big, I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... My mind what? Still. Wait! No! I can still work! I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere. I can see you and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. She collapses her hand together in front of her, her, front of her eye, pleading on for understanding. And I do understand to some extent. That doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Whether at myself, the unlucky turns the situation has taken for or for her i don't really i know. promise i'll give you a full report of what happens after i'll even let you take the lead tomorrow fine okay i'll step aside for now you're upset a little yeah obviously if it's any consolation i won't tell the boss about today you know how he is please don't i don't want a repeat of the lecture i got during my first assignment he called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means! Noob. <laughs> At the memory booth, busted into a helpless giggles, earning a strange looks from the next million about the door. Talking and laughing like this, it's easy to forget any mis-shapes that happened. Little things you learn to appreciate, I guess. So, are we good? Yep, green hair girl. I'm still not okay with it, but Rose has a point. It's better for me to step out of this one for now. I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, alright? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who'll fetch you, okay? She's gonna be for, she's gone before I can voice one word in complaint. That's right, nothing else to do. I find myself drifting back to the, f to the fray. A few visitors lingers in the area, some merely enjoying the afternoon, some like streaming through the stained glasses windows. Others can be seen admiring the bracelets and it's decorated the room. One group of elderly scattered some of somewhere across for me in occupied in a friendly banter about of which one would cost more to buy. A little argument here and occasionally laughter and teasing here. A smile to myself, the conversation reminds me of what I've been missing these past few months. Rose is probably right, I do need a break. Maybe this afternoon hangout with her will help. Speaking of, I should call Ash. It's a few hours early for what I have told him, but he did ask for a call once I am done. Besides, I don't have a ride back here for so I might as well take it. Or bribe him into giving me one. Not that he'll ex even accept the letter. Personal conv convictions at all. Honestly. If there's not something I find admirable in him despite his tendency to annoy, annoy the hell out of me, it's that. But whatever, my works, whatever way works, a free ride is still a free ride. There's Rose offer too, but despite what, he's, what she says, I know she will be busy for the rest of the afternoon, especially with her, me assisting, bothering her for a favor as small as this is the last thing I want to do right now. A couple of minutes to prepare a for a distance in the call from the 
Okay, I guess that's it for today. See you in the next episode.